Hey everybody, we are back. This is Deus. You're watching Cogmine, and I am excited. Let's see. We are doing pretty well. I feel like I'm um, getting into a lot of fights. Not good, <clears throat> but we're gonna see if we can get through um, depth two of research. And I didn't take many branches. Um, you see here we've got the storage and extensions, but pretty much straight shot up. <clears throat> no garrisons. Um, I kind of, I think I kind of forgot to look for um, Zion, because I did want to go there, but uh, we don't need those guys. We're fine. And so, where are we? Nuclear poultry. What's uh, this? Is for ooh ah. This would help with our corruption. We are at twenty-one percent corruption. <clears throat> but I know we are. Um, we really need more utility slots because we have a lot of good stuff we're carrying around with us, and we can't use it. <clears throat> I mean this. This, this is useful for us now because our corruption is quite high and it would be good to um, negate that. But I don't think I'm going to drop anything to grab it. <clears throat> That's one of the cool things I like about Cogmine and its sort of inventory management. See, for most games, well not most, but many games, um, inventory management is not fun. And look, here's the ASCII mode. I don't actually play in ASCII mode. I've never tried. Um, it looks really cool. Oh, look, and there goes our corruption, making us move the wrong way. But anyways, talking about inventory management. <clears throat> some, games, some games' inventory management is just annoying. Um, because it really is just put in place to slow the player down, um, rather than force you to make interesting decisions. Where, uh, for example, um, uh, I don't know, a lot of sort of, um, I don't know, maybe survival or builder building games, sort of, like um, uh, Don't Starve or No Man's Sky or some of those kinds of games where you kind of want to collect a bunch of stuff. That way you can craft things and, you know, keep playing the game. But you can't because you don't have enough inventory space, so it just sort of slows you down. Uh, that kind of stuff is annoying. <clears throat> and people say, oh no, you just craft a backpack or craft this storage unit. And yeah, sure, but why make me do that? You're just slowing me down. You slow the game down, you're artificially like extending the time players have to play because they have to wait to get those resources. But anyways, in Cogmine, it's actually important because... There's one annoyance about the inventory management in, in, in Cogmine I'll talk about in a second. But basically in Cogmine, it, it forces you, to, forces you to, um, to make tough decisions, right? Because you can't... Cogmine gives you so many things to get. I mean, there's no shortage of loot in Cogmine. It's all over the place. There's tons of loot all over. And um, are these better than advanced... So, oh wait, does that even show the rating? Rating four, and these are rating five. Okay, yeah. Sorry, just checking that. Uh, in Cogman, you have limited inventory space, and you have a ton of loot, and you can't just grab everything because you want it and want to hold on to it. You have to make decisions about who your robot, what your robot looks like, what what your build looks like. And you can't just grab everything in the world and carry it around with you just in case, right? And a lot of the items in Cogmine you could consider are just in case items. And so you have to decide whether it's worth carrying that around in case something happens. Or you have to decide whether that item actually uh, synergizes with your robot at the time, with your build. <clears throat> Um, let's see if I can shoot past this guy. 
Oh, another note, I've changed the audio settings. I noticed in the recordings that it was a little bit low, so hopefully it's not too loud today. Um, if it is, I'll have to mess with it a little bit more. So sorry if you're watching a uh, playlist and all of a sudden your audio is super loud. Turn it down. All right. The one thing that kind of, I don't know if it's that much of an annoyance, but <clears throat> it's the fact that you, almost every single run, you're going to get a storage unit of some kind. A large storage unit, probably. I'm not sure I've ever seen anybody not get a large storage unit. Um, and the fact that that does happen means, you know, maybe Cogmine's default inventory should just be bigger. Um, you know, and that way everybody's not always having to get a large storage unit. Um, and even, you know, small medium, small and medium storage units, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody get one of those. And so, oh my gosh, the corruption is terrible. Mm -hmm. Oh, more of these. Maybe I should just put them on. Um, are these siege, do these have siege mode? I don't know if they do. Is there a way to tell? I guess they would just say siege treads on them. <clears throat> yeah. Um, now I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I was talking about the storage units. Yeah, I've never seen anybody use, um small and medium storage units, unless they couldn't find large ones. You know, I've had instances where uh, going through materials, I did not find any large storage units, so I ended up with, you know, a bunch of medium ones, for example, which, you know, it's it's lame because you can almost always find large storage units um, somewhere eventually in the game, so it doesn't make sense to force people to find them or um, just not give them the extra inventory from the beginning because everybody's grabbing a large storage unit. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe some people are not. Maybe there's a reason not to get a large storage unit, but I haven't found one. Um, if maybe, I don't know, maybe if you're fast flying build, you won't get one. Maybe. But even later in the game when you're flying, you could carry a large storage unit, I would think. Another thing about Cogmine's design, I'm not, I'm not, I, I love Cogmine. I'm not saying there's anything terrible or bad about Cogmine. I'm just trying to, I'm just nitpicking here, to be honest, um, just to have something to nitpick about. <laughs> Is um, utility slots? Well, I guess it's mm, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, just looking at my build now, but there's an. I think there's an over-reliance on utility slots, I guess. I don't know. I just think that the, the categories of slots that your robot has, you have power, propulsion, utility, and weapons. And at least for the first half of the game, you know, um, you'll probably be loading up on utility slots, um, unless you're doing a heavy weapons build, which I did. Um, but, you know, it's all utility, utility, utility. And I'm wondering if... Maybe there was, was a way to, to make this more separated, right? Maybe instead of utility, it was, um, I don't know, utility and something else. You know, utility and uh, processors or something, for example. Maybe you have a separate um, slot for processors. Uh, ju just to make that decision a little, a little more interesting, um, because when you get slots, power, propulsion, utility, weapon, um, depending on what build you're going for, it's kind of always going to be the same, I think. I think, and, you know, and I almost think that decision could be made more um, difficult or interesting. Uh, but that's a really nitpicky one, really. Um, but I do feel like there's like an over-reliance on grabbing utility slots, and maybe if those were split up in some way, it'd make that make that a little more interesting. And there's a rail gun. I do want that. What am I going to drop? Uh, let's drop a machine gun. 
Uh, actually, we might want to drop something else. Because I kind of want to keep all these guns. Because we're going to end up... This is basically a battle of attrition at this point. And it's how, how long can we keep our stuff for? Do I need this many heat sinks? Probably not. Um, let's see... Not that. Where is... I never remember these keys. I'm looking for... Where's durability? Did I pass it? There it is. <coughs> and they're all the same except for this one. Drop that one. And grab that gun. Oh, an advanced heatsink. Is that what we just dropped? Yeah. I'm like, oh, is that good? No, that's the one we just threw away. Uh, we have some stairs over here. We could just dip out. The thing is, I don't really know if there's any reason to stay here. I mean, I feel like we're pretty powerful and we should just make a mad dash to the exit to see if we can make it. We have a lot of guns. We have some extra treads, extra uh, pr propulsion, and uh, we don't really have extra armor, but we do have like system shield and some of these other buffs that would help us. And I don't, I don't know if we would make it though. Sorry about that. I uh, took a sip of coffee and spilled a little bit on my keyboard. That's the worst. Worst, worst, worst. Shouldn't drink around your computer kids. Alright. So, do we want to take the stairs or do we want to... Let's just run around. I mean, we're doing fine. As long as we can make sure we continue to pick stuff up and find stuff, which we are. Um... There's biometal treads. There's treads down there. There are. Uh, there's a Nova Cannon, actually. Hmm. All right. Oh. Hmm. Quantum rifles. Yeah. There's some really good weapons here. So I think we're gonna stay here for a while, as long as we don't. Oh, that's really loud for me. I'm turning it down. As long as we don't get uh, overrun, which could happen, like what happened at the beginning, for example. Oh gosh, <clears throat> and the corruption is what's going to kill us. The corruption is going to be terrible. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what? Let's just leave. Does our corruption go down if we leave? Well, I don't think this is the next floor, to be honest. It could be um, a branch. Yeah, it is a branch. So our corruption stayed the same, and we're probably somewhere we don't want to be. Um, it's green. And look, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, Quantum reactors. I'll just put those on. A matter neutralizer. Wow, that is a really good gun, too. Everybody's yelling at me and saying, You should upgrade your weapons. But no, I'm sticking with kinetics, man. Sticking with kinetics. I'm sticking to my guns. Alright. Can we attach one of these? And then attach one of these? Oh, doesn't like that we have. <clears throat> oh, we have a light one as well. Uh, uh, we don't need the light one. We want the higher integrity, to be honest. So, pick up that one. So we have two extras. I don't think we need that many extras, but that's right. 
the matter neutralizers. <clears throat> All right, so this is this is not a huge map, no. But I don't know what. He <coughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. It's that time of year. <coughs> I always get uh, allergies. I think it's because of the. In the fall, when the leaves get wet, they grow mold, and I think the mold is what gets everyone sick, especially me. It's not so bad for me this year. Usually I'll start coughing around November, and we'll still be coughing until February. I had one time it was really bad, and I had to go to the doctors and get some, um, I guess it's like steroids to help heal my bronchial tubes. Um, Alpha 7 prototype, dormant. Okay, I don't know where we are. And I don't know what will happen if I do this terminal here. Um, and I always say this is the part about Cogman that I've not wrapped my head around yet because I just haven't played it enough. Or even watched it enough. I think if I watched people play it more, I would pick up on these kinds of things. And I haven't found any. I have not found any sort of comprehensive guide on like the locations and the lore, and that would be kind of nice. That would be interesting to see about uh, the different factions. And if you go here, then you can do this. And if you can go there, then this happens. And then you're aligned with this other faction. That would be an interesting guide to see. If someone wants to put that together and send it to me. That would be awesome. But there's a, this guy has a ton of prototype stuff, so... Only a 33% chance, huh? Did it. Was it this door? Yeah. An alien launcher. Wow. Well, we'll get rid of you, and we'll get... Oh, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Uh, two-slot weapon. Wow. Alright, we'll get rid of a machine gun. Because I want to check this out. <coughs> Alright, let's walk over... Yeah, and we'll put down our hammer, and our machine gun, and we will put this on because I want to see it. It's a guided weapon. Ah, so it can go around. I think it can go around corners. disposable, so I can only shoot it once. And it's a one oh my gosh, it does a thousand damage? Whole well, no wonder I can only shoot it once. This is amazing. Um, okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, I wonder if I should keep it on so I don't have to swap it. Swapping dual swap weapons is annoying. I do need my hammer though. So we'll pick that up. <clears throat> okay. Alright, cool. So we're in uh, quarantine and we found some very cool stuff. Well, at least one very cool thing. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, if somebody's. Somebody's probably here to stop us, but. Well, oh my gosh, this, this guy's firing all over the place. We have a hover unit, not doing hover, or a tank. Oh, now we're a mutant, a scavenger mutant. Why are we a mutant and not a tank? Oh, and we can't have anything else. Oh, probably because it's guided. You have to, um... 
you're, I don't know. I'm not sure why you can't volley everything with that launcher. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Can we shoot him? Can we one-shot him? We should be able to. Only 72% chance? Ooh. Oh no, he's gone. An alien impact weapon. And takes two slots also. What? I, I bet all of these are two slots. Everything we find in here. Oh, jeez. I wanted to go to this terminal, jerk. Um, I feel like we need to get this out of here. But we should be able to kill him. Should, 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 should. Terminator. Alright, we're gonna go in this room. I don't want to put this weapon on the ground, because I don't want a scavenger to come by in the middle of the fight and grab it on me. So I'm gonna drop... Um, a couple of these. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a, drop a couple of these, um... Utilities. And that way I can move this here. And then I can do... That. That. Alright, now we have guns galore. shooting through the walls. Oh, we lost our armor. Lost our armor. Alright, well, we'd probably want to put our... Attach that one. Where was the other one? There. Attach that one. Device, um, disruptor cannon, a leg. Alright, there's so much stuff on the screen, it's so hard to read. Um, crits by eight, that's just an advanced one. Terrain. And then that's, yep, same as what I have. Alright. Advanced targeting analyzer, probably is the highest one. There might be a rarer version of one out there, but I've never seen it. I don't think. No, no, no. I want to go to this terminal, guys. Hold on a minute while I mess with your computer. And these all have super low chance. Um, recall. That would be good. 4% chance. Um, I don't know that I would have a chance at any hacks on this one. What to do, what to do. I should not have gone this way, to be honest. I should have gone up. I should have. Maybe we can go back that way. Let's go back through this door if we can. I guess it doesn't matter. These guys are going to shoot through the walls anyways. We'll try to hit them from here. Okay. 
system corruption is messing with our fighting. So let's go back this way. Mm. Unidentified alien artifact. I believe I've had one of these before. I think one of them had to do with teleportation or something. But <clears throat> I don't know that I'm going to pick it up because I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with it once I get it. And I just don't have the room. Yeah, there's another one. Ooh, this is what we want, baby. And actually, I think we're going to start swapping out our treads. For these. Uh, let's see. Have you? Oh yes, please. Thank you. I need. You know what I need? I just need another um storage unit. I really do. And yeah, we definitely want these guns. All right. <clears throat> Where? Get a storage unit. There are none around here, probably. It's kind of hard to find storage units later in the game. Alright, um, let's take off you and you and put on you and you. And then we can pick up. we do okay we only have oh so we have heavy armor here our hard light generator is about to go which is fine so we'll just drop it and our utility shield okay, let me get rid of that um what are we gonna do Oh, these are only medium treads, so I gotta put, I, was gonna, oh, I guess I'll put both of these on then. There we go. Well, that fixes that. And then I feel like we should pick our siege treads back up. Yeah. And then I guess we can put that back on. I thought we had another, um, of see, um, biometal heavy treads to pick up, but we don't. All right, we're good. Um, recoil nullifier. Got one. Thanks. Alien energy cannon. I bet you that's amazing. Bet you it is. Be like a thousand damage like the other one <laughs> that's crazy I'm, i don't know what i'm gonna use it on that's the problem um... no i kind of feel like i need a better um a better melee melee weapon melee weapon hmm. I wish I could go this way I really do doesn't look like there's anything up this way unfortunately hmm um actually let's try Oh, thanks. That's the way I wanted to go. Uh, let's try this way. Uh-oh. Well, gotta turn my guns on. Hold on, buddy. Oh, I didn't know my guns would shoot through walls. That's not true. 
I knew that. I just didn't think about using it as a tactic to get through walls. Be a waste of matter. Hmm. Alright. No way to go up that way. So, my plans have been ruined. So, we're going to end the episode there. We didn't explore much of this, but we are in quarantine. We have a Sigix Terminator launcher, which does 1,000 damage. It's a one-shot weapon. We get to shoot a single shot. Um, so, we'll have to find something to shoot with that. So... Hopefully we'll find something, and then it'll help us uh, win the game. I want to see the uh, the effect, the uh, graphical effect on this this weapon. Uh, those are always really cool. So thanks for watching. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.